Hello you. I'm Imminent Tortoise. Welcome to a video on some Gundam figures. Uh, yeah, today I've got a couple kind of mini figures that I bought a while ago that I've been meaning to open and kind of forgot about. Uh, that is namely two Gundam Converge figures and one Universal Unit figure. Um, yeah, basically I picked these up while shopping in Forbidden Planet uh, a while ago for those not in the UK. They're kind of like a comic book and, you know, media kind of shop. Um, and yeah, so I, I picked these up because they were really interesting. Now I've got a Gundam Converge figure, and that's the Gundam F91, I believe. Now I've not watched um, the Gundam series that F91 is from, actually. Um, but these ones, thankfully, I have seen the series they're from, apart from the origin, technically, but we'll get into that in a second. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to kind of open these up. Now, I think they're all small model kits, which is in keeping with Gunpla, which is the most popular form of Gundam, really. Um, once, you know, things I've built myself quite a few times. So, I'm going to look at these first, and then this one is slightly more interesting because it's a slightly mystery kind of box thing. So, I'm going to put that in the back uh, for a second, and we'll take a look at these. So, first up is Gundam Converge Bear Guy F. Uh, number 115. There are a lot of Converge figures, apparently. Um, I looked them up a while ago, and yeah, there's tons. I'm, I'm never going to complete a collection. But this, now, I'm not fully sure. I think this is Gundam Build Fighters. Unfortunately, this is a Japanese product, um, and it doesn't... Oh, hang on, wait. No, never mind. That's just a... Um, that, that's just the website if you do want to buy some Converge ones from Japan and import them for a large amount of money. But yeah, this is by Bandai. Um, I want to say it's from Build Fighters because that's where I've seen Bear Guy from. There is an older Bear Guy, but it doesn't look as cute as these. Um, I do have two uh, Bear Guy Gunpla, actually, so this will go well with them. And also he comes with a baby Gunpla, so this is definitely from... I want to say Build Fighters Try, I think. They've both kind of combined into my mind. I've not watched Divers yet, but I have seen Gundam Build Fighters and Build Fighters Try. Anyway, um, and this is apparently Fusion Morphs, which I think is basically their kind of way of saying, look, it's not a Gunpla kit, it is slightly different. So I'm going to crack this box open, I think this way. Hey, there we go. I'm going to pull the top. Okay, cool. That works i think hang on oh we also have an advertisement for gundam converge ex07 so presumably they're like bigger um converge figures maybe not too oh oh never mind okay they're not i thought they were like assembly kind of pieces but no well uh, mildly assembly kind of pieces so there we are uh, we, we have both the things there and presumably like the back kit somewhere or whatever. I think that's there. And that's the Babby Bear Guy. Cool, right. I'm going to open these up then and figure out how they are like displayed and stuff. And I'll be right back. All right. I have assembled it. And my God, that was... Oh, that was a finicky uh, little figure to put together. So, um... I, I will say, very, very well detailed. Comes the base as well to hold it up. Obviously, because it's got like a backpack that's holding his child, um, you know, it, it's understandable. So, it's very cute. Um, it's slightly movable. The, like, the legs are movable and the arms are kind of movable, but not really. Anyway, I'm very gingerly moving this kit. Um, and I'll explain why in a second. So... You know, paint apps and everything are fantastic. This is a very cute bear guy. I don't have a white bear guy. I have a green and a blue one, so this will go very well with it. On the back is the reason I am very, very scared. So you see, this attaches in two parts. The chair there, and then the baby blue bear guy onto the chair. There's like a small divot that it fits into. Now, again, it's a very, very cute bear um, and you might notice the legs are a little bit like off and stuff they're not very symmetrical and that is because even a slight touch to these arms or legs they'll pop off very easily um, obviously because it's such a small little figure that the arm like has to be molded in such a way they can all fit in but also pop up very easily which means that when you're putting them back, you can't put pressure on any of the other, like, legs or arms, or they'll pop off as well. 
So this took me a few minutes to uh, really finesse, so that is as much as I am willing to do with the BB Blue Bear Guy. Uh, I mean, it still looks cute and stuff, and it doesn't look weird or anything. But yeah, overall, honestly, this is a very cute figure. It is slightly more hunched over than the box makes it look. Um, however, I don't really want to, like, play with it too much, I guess. I could maybe like fiddle with the legs a little bit but I don't know it's sort of it's not the easiest to do really now I could hang on that's very mildly better um because technically like its feet were slightly lower than the base is here the base does make it look a little bit bulkier or whatever but you know I think at a distance this is very cute um and yeah, it, it's it's just it's a very simple figure, really, but very adorable. I shall be putting this with my bear guy display. Um, at the end of the video, video, like with a lot of my other figure videos, um, I will be doing a small montage of like pictures and stuff of these either together or with my other Gundam stuff. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, I'm gonna put this bear guy F to the side. And we're going to bust out, oh, hang on, we're going to bust out the Gundam Converge Hi-Zack. Uh, now, Hi-Zack, I definitely had to get. Unfortunately, uh, we'll take a look at the back for a second. So, I'd have loved a build-burning Gundam. Um, I really enjoyed Build Fighters. I know it didn't go down great with everyone, but I really enjoyed it. Um, we've got Grimoire, we have um, uh, Buster Gundam. And we have TR1. Now, hang on, wait. Yeah, oh, okay, sorry. For some reason, I thought um, Barbatos from Iron-Blooded Orphan, Orphans was on here. Now, I think I saw a box with him in as well, but I held off. I haven't seen Iron-Blooded Orphans. I really do love Barbatos' uh, design, though, so I'm looking to get more of these, probably. Um... And yeah, so Hayazak, the reason I got him is from Z uh, Zeta Gundam. Zeta Gundam is probably my favourite of the Gundam series. It's, oh, it, it's just so good. Like, the suit designs alone are phenomenal. Um, so as you can see here, this is Hayazak, and this is the Titans version. So there were obviously the Titans and... Oh god, I can't remember the other side. Why, why can't I... Oh, I I'm going to be kicking myself. I'll put it in the captions below. Anyway, yeah, um, hi Zach, I, I love me some Zakus, they are really cool suits. So, without further ado, I'm going to bust into this one as well. Will it give me the same advert, I wonder, for that EX Converge? The answer is yes, I will. Um, right, so, let's crack this open then, let's see, he probably comes with some... Ex Ooh, yeah, he does, yeah, he does. Nice, okay, I was going to say some accessories, and by golly, does he? That's, that's a lot. So, there's the stand again, um, there's some, uh, there's a shield and, like, a pauldron thing, there's a gun, and there's, like, a backpack, I think. Very nice. Right, I'm going to go to assembling this, I'll be back in a minute. This is no Zaku, boy. No Zaku. This, this is a high, a high Zack. Um, god damn. Whoa, whoa, this is a nice little figure. Uh, thankfully, nowhere near as finicky as Bear Guy. This, like, slid together like butter. So, um, yeah, it's got a few pieces. It's got the uh, left arm shield. It's got this backpack thing. It's got this, like, pauldron thing. Uh, and the the gun came... Uh, the, so the hand is actually part of the gun. So if you take this off, it, it loses a hand, basically. But damn, this is a good-looking figure. Um, I really like the Converge line because as I've seen pictures of like various other kits as well, and they're the right level of chibi, if that makes sense. So like, you know, whilst I love Nendroids and stuff, uh, the one thing that does bother me is the head draw is massive and the bodies, which are oftentimes just as detailed, are kind of like miniaturized and kind of simplified. These are the right level of chibi. They're they've got or an overall theme, like the body is just as chibified as the head and everything. And damn, ah, this is, this is really cool. Like, the the detailing on this really surpasses Bear Guy. Now, obviously, Bear Guy is a really simple, simple figure, so it's not going to be as detailed anyway or ever. 
but damn this this Hoyzak looks incredible um and yeah you know you've you've got all the little paint apps and stuff so its arms move um but that's the only thing unfortunately its head torso and legs are all static and stuff the base actually is specifically fit just for the legs to be placed like this so it makes sense to hold it up and everything um but yeah no it it's pretty cool like you can have i mean there's not many there's not many um poses you can have it apart from holding its gun up but honestly like this would be perfect to like army build you could buy a couple of these and have like you know um the the zeta gundam versus them or something but damn this is really cool um i, I do love me some zaku anyway Th their design is just incredible and yeah and th this can move i don't know why you'd want to move it particularly much but yeah you know whatever but no, overall, these two Converge figures are pretty darn cool. Now, if you want to get your hands on some, I'm not sure where the best place is to find them, but I bought these each of £5, um, which comes to about 6 or $7, I think. But So, honestly, these are really affordable. Um, I mean, Gunpla isn't much more expensive, but if you want like mini figures that are properly well-detailed and everything, then... Yeah, I recommend definitely getting some Converge if you're into it. Anyway, I'm going to clear these to the side now. We're going to take a look at the Universal Unit figure. Alright, it's time for a slightly larger scale figure now. Um, still very small scale. This is the Universal Unit uh, range. And this is two, maybe it's Series 2, I don't know. There's eight to collect, um, as we'll see on the back in a second. The sides don't tell us much. Apart from this is kind of themed around Gundam The Origin. Um... Now, as I mentioned uh, at the start of the video, I've not actually watched any of the Origin movies yet. I have them all on Blu-ray. I just haven't had the time to watch them, basically. But I have watched Mobile Suit Gundam and Zeta Gundam, so I feel like I know these designs fairly well. Um, now, on the back, there is the lineup. Now, I when I bought this, I didn't actually look at the packaging very much, and I thought, you've got a 1 in 8 chance of any of these. But, however, if you look at the top there, it does say this is Gundam, so the RX-7802 from Gundam The Origin, which means I've got a chance of A or B. So, unfortunately, I ain't going to get Char's um, Zaku 2, which is a shame. Um, and Barbatos, I'd like to get him as well. And there's no chance of getting Alex either. However, I do have the chance of getting uh, Grandpa himself. So, A or B. Now, honestly, I've looked at this for hours and genuinely can't decide which I'd prefer. E is pretty cool because it's got the mounted, uh, the shoulder mounted gun and the like beam rifle, which I really, really like. I'd love that. But B uh, has the rocket launcher, which I'm not as big on because I, I think it just looks overly bulky. But it has the shield and I really want the shield. I mean, the, the perfect combo, obviously, would be to have, like, B and A and have the shield, then you'd be left with another RX-78. Anyway, I don't know. So, going with the last things, the Converge, I don't know if this is going to be pre-assembled or not, or maybe I'll have to build it myself. I'm up for either one, but let's crack into this, really. I've been very excited for this. Uh, for quite some time, actually, I bought these on my birthday, which is August 2019. If you check the date of the upload for this, you'll notice that ain't even the same year. Ooh, okay, it is indeed an... Oh, damn. Da okay. Ooh, okay, so we got B. Because we have the shield there uh, and the rocket launcher. Okay, sorry if I spoiled that for everyone. So we do have assembly, but it's not as in-depth as a gunpla, as you can see. Because, I mean, the torso and the head are already there and stuff. We've just got to build the arms and put on some decals and um, stuff. The decals are going to be fun at this scale, because, man, this is like... I don't even know what scale. This is way beyond high grade, isn't it? This is like... Uh, uh, essentially kind of like... I, I don't know, like an SD version of a high grade or something? I'm not even sure. Um, yeah, so this is going to take me a little while, so I'm, I'm not going to show you guys the building process, it'll be boring and I don't want to be rushed or anything. Uh, right, okay, so I'm going to try and assemble this as best I can. I shall be with you when I'm with you. Alright, he is complete. So um, the instructions actually, I had to 
tear open the box um, and they were inside they were fairly straightforward like um, unfortunately the pieces weren't actually labeled but um, once you looked at the diagram and stuff it wasn't too hard to figure out it took me about half an hour or something and they all came on these things so like yeah you just twist them off I did sand them down a little bit as well with the like file I had just to make sure the nubs weren't uh, massively showing so yeah this is the final thing now um straight off the bat i'm sure a few of you might be yelling at the screen and saying why is his shield on the wrong arm um i <laughs> i've built it wrong basically um regardless of how i rotate the top of the arm there um basically this connector here for the shield would have either been this side or if it was that side, it would be facing in, unfortunately. Um, and basically, I'd have had to have taken apart these arms. And they're quite fragile and very, very small. Like, I just about managed to get them together as it is. So, unfortunately, this is canonically incorrect. Although, actually, the RX-78 might have just been able to swap out shields on its arms. I'm not too sure. Um, now, also, you may have noticed that the rocket launcher that came with it isn't being wielded. Um, that is because this here, hang on, this part here is what was meant to peg in to uh, one of the hands of the RX-78. However, try as I might, he couldn't hold it. Um, also, even if he did hold it, he'd have had to have held it like weirdly, so like it'd have either been like that, so he'd have had to have hold it, like held it kind of down or, yeah, or the other way. Um, I don't know, it didn't look as good. Also, there are some stickers, so there's a sticker there, which isn't quite straight, but eh, it's good enough. Uh, there's also some shoulder stickers, as you can see there, on both shoulders, and there was that shoulder, uh, there was that sticker. That was a pain to put on, but I managed it. Also, there's some black ones on its feet. Um, they, they're not, like, fully, fully straight, but eh, whatever, they're near enough. Also, very happy to say that he does come with a beam saber, um, uh, you know, the, the other the other weapons are cool and all, but uh, when a beam saber is in the kit, I've got to put it on him. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, overall, honestly, as a kit, this is pretty darn good. Now, obviously, the scale-wise, this is quite small. Um, you know, but honestly, for its size, it can do a lot. So the arms are kind of like, they, you know, they'll go up and down and um, th on the shoulders and the hands rotate, the head rotates. The sort of legs kind of have a bit of thing. They go back and forth. And there's also ball joints on the feet, which means that you can, honestly, like you can pull off some pretty cool poses and stuff uh, which i'm hoping to do in the pictures that will follow this video but yeah honestly it's it's a nice light kit and stuff uh most things kind of came as they did anyway like the head and the body and stuff so it is kind of nice in a way because um obviously with a high grade kit and stuff to have to have, like put the yellow bit on and all the extra little things so, you know, it, it's a nice, quick kit. Um, this cost me around £7, which I think is about $10 or just under. So, again, it's a very affordable little kit. Um, I love the RX-78. It's, it's just got a really cool design and stuff. And that shield. The shield and the sword. I don't know why, but, like, they're, they're just quintessential Gundam. So, yeah, very pleased with that. I'm glad I got B, honestly. Um... A would have been great, but I, I don't know, guns just like aren't as cool as beam sabers and shields, in my opinion. Anyway, I'm going to put them all three of them together and I'll do a little wrap up and then we'll finish the video. All right then, that about wraps up this video. Thank you very much for watching. Um, it wasn't, wasn't a very focused video, it was kind of a collection of small Gundam things I happened to buy recently, but... I thought maybe you guys would find it interesting, I don't know. Um, I'll probably be buying more Converge things, for sure. And honestly, the Universal Unit things have really impressed me, so I'm going to look into if there are other series or whatever as well, because like, if, there's a, if there's a Zeta one specifically, that would be amazing. Um, or, you know, Build Fighters, Double Zero, that would be another really cool one, because like, the amount of detail they've managed to fit into these small kits or like sm figures and stuff, is genuinely quite impressive. It's um, it, it's kind of what Bandai 
do best, really. But anyway, um, stick around. I'm going to do a very quick video montage of like shots of these three things and maybe with my other Gundam figures if they fit in. Um, yeah, and that about wraps it up, really. Thank you very much for watching. I will keep making videos in the future. So until next time, goodbye.